Howdy, so today I'm going to be using your average everyday household tools to make a, oh, what's those called, those little pucks that you put in toilets or urinals, pucks, cakes. We're going, to, we're going to be making a holder for that stuff for your toilet because there's a problem. Oh, it's going to be like five minutes, so stay tuned. Now, first things first, I am ugly, so be forewarned, that is my only warning. You have to deal with me the whole time. All right, so basically what I did, I took a pop bottle. Gotta take a pop bottle. Take the cap off. So what I did is poke four holes, right? Poke, 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 poke. But you gotta really score out the holes or else these pop bottle tops. And this can get a bit difficult, right? You gotta score out the holes or else the pop bottle tops will shrink back to their normal size. This is the kind of plastic that uh, is shaped when you heat it up. So luckily for you, the toilets, most of them, are cold water. So you won't have the problem after you shape it out. But you have to put a little friction into it to get it a little hot. And then, you know, that's going to stay open. So I have four holes. You can have as many as you want. So basically after that, blah, 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 blah. basically after that, uh, I basically just cut the pop bottle top. This is what the urinal cake is going to go into. So basically, when you, so I should stop saying so basically. That should, maybe, or that should be my catchphrase, but I don't think that's a great catchphrase. You put it in there, and you put, you need, you need a special add-on on your toilet. Most toilets have this already for the uh, basin flow, not the main flow, the secondary flow. You'll see when you have your, your toilet, bottom right so you have your cover it pops up pops down sometimes it's a big unit it just comes up comes down on old toilets um, but all the water goes in there usually there's a pipe that feeds upwards and helps collect any excess water in case the toilet bowl gets too full to prevent it from overflowing most most toilets have a some sort of yeah, use use this an example actually here we go sanitizer bucket just like that have a spout and this spout sprays water out and basically this what the spout does you clip it on the top and it, it basically helps to clear any excess debris that gets in this tube when you're flushing because this tube leads into that toilet bowl underneath the plunger Okay, or, or well, the stopper, whatever it's called. But when you flush, sometimes there's water, um, could be sediment, could be other stuff that gets in this tube and it splashes in. That little bit of water is meant to clear that and help provide a little more flow forward. Now, toilet lesson aside, as fascinating as that is, I'm not really into toilets. Okay, there is that little thing now I'm thinking if I can take that because for my toilet there's not much of a problem with flow if I want I can take a brush go and clean it maybe once a year okay and that's all I have to do that's nothing so I'm thinking I'll take that tube put it onto here and then have this folded over heat treat it so it stays that way now I have an example of something that, oh, maybe not in this room. All right, well, that's okay. So, almost said that phrase again. Gotta stop that. What I'm gonna do, careful, it's gonna be light, it's gonna be fire, might be a little bright, is gently heat this. I'm not gonna put it right up to it. Right? I'm not, I don't need to make black marks on it, but I'm gonna gently introduce flame. You can see here, it's in between, right? The heat is going upwards and I just want to make this be enough far back and far forward so I don't want to be super tight but I want it to be large enough that it fits over the toilet and it hangs into the toilet bowl so this is the tricky part you may want to get a friend to help you with this but you need to extend this out enough and light it now, most people would just hold it like this, and that's 
So that's actually good, what I'm going to do. Now it's hard to kind of get your finger in there. This is this is the issue, right? So basically, thumb, just like you're holding the cup, and then other side, put it together. Boom. Okay. Ooh, it's already gone. Yeah, that's that's a quickie, but it's starting to work. Right? So he treats plastic. So I want to probably push this downwards. And this part's already heat treated, so that's not going well for me already. Okay. It will shrink, like this is shrinking while you're doing this. So probably get farther away. And that will introduce a bit better malleability. You don't want to get really close to it. You can get away from it. You can keep heating it. It'll keep molding slowly. But surely, it's already different. It wasn't anywhere near it. I think that was actually pretty perfect. Although I gotta get this part flatter. See if I can. Oh, that's gonna be tricky. You know what? This is not bad. This is turning out pretty good. Okay, so now. Since I have this in a pretty wide and pretty, um, well, it's not pretty, but it's fairly well, right? I'm going to hook this into my toilet bowl and let you know. All right, so we got the toilet bowl here. We're going to put this right here. Uh, voila, look at that. It stays. Okay, so that looks good. All right, so I got the toilet bowl emptied out. There's the tube. There's your stopper. There's your unit. Now, it's just your standard toilet bowl. I'm gonna clip this on. Actually, it's kind of unstandard because I did buy this thing. And this is amazing because it goes up and down. I probably shouldn't do this right now because there's still pressure in there. But it has a, a stop to keep it from flowing. It has an adjustment for when, what water level you want, which I just, I think I just broke. Or maybe I didn't. And then I just, I kind of put this too far. Okay. okay, that's better. Just came loose a little bit. And I just had to turn it a little bit. But that's adjustable there. The whole unit is adjustable up and down. And it has the, the spigot thing. So that's what we need. Well, that's what I need. And I'm gonna see where's, where's, could, where could be the best place for this spigot. Maybe here? Here? I think that's pretty good. Yeah, that's gonna spray into the... It's not gonna interrupt the plunger at all, um, or the unit. So that's perfect. I'm just gonna move this on to here. Oh, there might be little coverage, less coverage than I want on here. So this would be interrupting the... Um, So if I put the top on, oh, it's going to come off. But it looks like there's enough tension and I can just put it in here. And that looks, for me, that's adequate. But it is at a bit of an angle. I don't like that so much. So I'm going to make a small fix here. And ooh, how should I do this? So maybe you go like this and then downwards with it. Twist this a little bit and clip downward. And, or I could have a shoot in from the side and cut a hole. So many possibilities. Okay, so I decided I'm just gonna hook it into the back of the toilet and then that's gonna be a little bit better for clearance. Hopefully, and that's pretty good enough. One of my old hairs. Get off there. I want a clean bathroom. And um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So it's Get it going. Okay, and slowly turn this water spigot feature. And it, it's peeing, it's good. Okay, so we reduce that. I just want a little bit of drip there. Not a whole lot. I don't need it soaking in this stuff. 
but I do know that it drip. I do think it can drip a little bit. Let me turn this because it actually will help protect it from flipping up. So instead of flipping up and spraying out here, it's gonna hopefully keep it down in there. But um, yeah, you know what? I just don't like the look of this. Okay, so I've cut a little hole right there. And I've stashed this uh, onto the unit. And it's just kind of there, but it's secure. Let's try this again. And turn the knob. Oh, it's working. It's working pretty good. Look at that. It's short. You know, big, 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 but yeah, I like that. Okay, hold on. See, I like this one. It's easy. Now, pierce the resistance. Voila. And no, you are not supposed to take it out of the wrapper because this will biodegrade. So you should be good. Just turn it on and it doesn't need to cover the whole thing, just needs to get part. And then the rest will just drip. I don't want it like a huge dripping thing going on. I only got three of these right now, so I'm just gonna see how this goes. Oh, isn't moving. Okay, need more water here. So that looks good. Kind of getting on it. It's not like on it, on it, but yeah, it's it's clean. So that's good. I will I will say that is a success. It's draining. And it's not overly clean, and it's not coming out of the top, even if it would drain into there because of this hole. And uh, I like that. That's good. So when it stops, that's uh, coming up soon. Okay. This thing feels so good. I've done so many quick modifications on it. Like this, this plunger head is, you know, it's too long. You're supposed to cut them, but who cuts like a half a centimeter thick metal rod? Not me. Really, not me. Okay, I'm just waiting until that flips and stops. It should stop right about. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so it's not in the water. And it works. Duh. I think, I think that's a success today. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your support. Because I do this stuff all the time. And there's so much of it. And I think I should make one of these. Accessible to everybody. Through some big brand chain. And make the invention. I want to patent this. I want to have, like, this thing be able to drain into the drain hole. Have it like an attachment on the drain hole. I want all plumbers to have access to it. But you know, people don't like to put these pucks in their toilet. So, I don't know, maybe also invent a toilet top to go with it for different toilets that fit your toilet aesthetic. And then um, has a quick insert hole for, no, a quick deposit hole for putting the pucks in the toilet. I mean, you don't need to do this so often, but with that method, you probably need to do it even less. So, I, you know, it's pretty good. Maybe include a little attachment for the little hose, because maybe some units don't have the little spigot thing, so give them a spigot. So the part that goes in is a spigot, so you can control the flow. I like that idea, but um, I don't think everybody's going to like that idea. So let, let me know what you think.